what happened the night of the explosion? Were there any survivors? Well, there are many things that we do know about the night of the explosion, but there are some things that we don't know and we'll never know. What we do know is that at approximately 1018 on the night of the explosion, which was July 17th, 1944, there were two explosions that happened. The first one happened, one explosion happened, and then a larger one about seven seconds later. We don't know exactly what caused those explosions. We do know that the end result was that the pier area here at Port Chicago was more or less obliterated. Um, there were two ships at the time, the SS E.A. Bryan and the SS Quinault Victory, and they were side by side being loaded. One was almost fully loaded and the other one had just arrived and was was in the process of being being loaded. So when the explosion occurred, it was huge. It, the entire area shook. Windows were shattered as far away as San Francisco. Um, people were shaken out of bed. The town of Port Chicago, which was nearby, was heavily damaged. And it produced this massive cloud that extended about 12,000 feet up into the air. This was a massive explosive event that shook the, and registered the entire area. And no one knew what was happening at first. I think everyone thought that we might have been under attack. But in fact, we were not under attack. It was just that something had happened at, at the base with the munitions and both of those ships and thousands and thousands and tons of, of explosives and 320 men had been, had been blasted away. Only weeks after the explosion, the witnesses and survivors were all sent back to work, back to the same dangerous job of loading ammunition with no regard for safety or military protocols. As the men were in formation ahead down to the pier, some hesitated and stopped when they received the order. So, what happened to those who refused to load explosives? Everyone who survived was severely traumatized because they were involved in the cleanup of this area. And so there were remains of some of the deceased that they had to clean up. And it was, it was very traumatic for those who survived. They had what we like to call survivor's guilt you know, because many of them lost so many friends. And the white sailors were given sick leave and allowed to take time off to try to recover mentally from this event. But the black sailors, after a very brief period during which they were involved in cleanup, were ordered back to work much more 